This presentation will be about how to diagnose focal nodular hyperplasia. Focal nodular hyperplasia is the second most common benign liver lesion after hemangioma. It constitutes 8% of the primary hepatic lesions. It has a predominancy for the females, and it may be multiple in 20% of the cases. It is a hyperplastic growth of morphologically normal hepatocytes and is regarded as a hyperplastic response to abnormally developed hepatic blood flow. It has a central fibrovascular scar and radiating fibroscepta containing large malformed feeder arteries and branches. In ultrasound, it's slightly hypoetogenic than the parenchyma, slightly demarcated, not a discrete lesion. Central feeding artery can be demonstrated by caliber per ultrasound, which has a low resistance parenchymal type of flow in spectral imaging. The distribution is centrifugal. This is a good example of FNH. You see the lesion has similar echogenicity with the background parenchyma, the fibrovascular scar, and the feeding artery. The artery comes from separately, like a corkscrew appearance here, and feeding centrally and with low impedance, low resistance flow inside. During reading the MRI signal, we should consider that it is an abnormal development, like the distorted parenchyma with more free protons than the background, and the central scar is fibrovascular. That's why it has a slightly higher signal than the parenchyma on T2, and it's mildly inhomogeneous, and the diffusion restriction is slight. Central scar is fibrovascular in nature, which makes it hyper intense on T2 images. During the evaluation of contrast enhancement, we should consider its own feeder artery, its extracellular space is more than the background, and scar is fibrovascular. That's why. It displays very high contrast enhancement, early beginning from the arterial phase. Enhancement persists during the phases, and it never displays washout. This is a very important finding. Central scar may show enhancement in the late phase. If we use hepatocyte-specific contrast material, the enhancement is more than the parenchyma in the hepatobiliary Phase. This is an example of FNH. You see slightly hypoecogenic lesion with central feeder artery. Slightly, very slightly hyperintense and compared to the parenchyma. Very slight diffusion restriction. This is the enhancement of the same lesion. Isolation with hypointense central scar, early enhancement, and persistent enhancement during the phases, no washout, and the scar enhances in the late phase. Another example, slightly hypolesion, central feeder artery, and low resistance flow. The same lesion, slightly hyperintense on T2, almost iso on T1, slightly hyper on T2, very slight diffusion restriction. And this is the enhancement pattern of the same lesion, almost iso, early arterial enhancement, and persistent enhancement in the late phase. And this is an example of hepatobiliary phase enhancement pattern. This is the late image. The hepatobiliary phase is more than the background parenchyma. This was a difficult case. Slightly hyperlesion. Very difficult to recognize on, that, on T1. Very mild diffusion restriction. You see the early arterial enhancement becomes 
iso intense with the background parenchyma, but no washout. In conclusion, central feeder artery on the ultrasound is an important finding to diagnose for another hyperplasia. On MRI, slight signal changes compared to the parenchyma, plus early high enhancement, persistent enhancement, and no washout are diagnostic findings. Also, high signaling, hepatobiliary phase of hepatocyte specific contrast material use is another good and helpful finding. Thank you for listening.